What's up gamers, Russ Lyman here, and welcome to another Top 3 Tuesday. Now this episode has been inspired by Gustavo Lopez, and he commented, do a top five favorite knickknacks in your collection, please. I love the term knickknacks. Little things you would just display throughout your game room that kind of make it one of a kind and your own. So we'll be counting down my top three obscure gaming collectibles. And definitely stick around to the end because number one will certainly blow you away. Well, number three in the list is certainly the smallest, but it has a great backstory to it. Number three! It's this tiny little Mario figure that's climbing a vine. Now, I got this toy back in the day when it officially came out. My dad had purchased me this at a store. I'm not sure what store I was at. It could have been a rental store or just Kmart or Caldors or something like that. But I remember getting this one. King Hippo and a Princess Peach. I have to find those. They're lost amongst all the other collectibles. But this one definitely stands out because Mario, you know, has been always a favorite of mine in gaming. And it's such a cool little figure, him climbing up the vine um, in Mario 2, basically, where you climb all the vines in that level. And I certainly enjoy that game a lot. The figure is about the size as an amiibo while he's standing on the vine, or one of the Nintendo, World of Nintendo figures, about the same size as that. So reading on the bottom here, it's a little hard to see, it says 1989 Nintendo America applause, and it's uh, made in China. There is some like little residue, because I think I put some hot glue or something to stick him on something back in the day, but he's definitely held up over the years. Number two. And coming in at number two is this awesome Mario plush figure that I picked up. Now this is officially licensed, it still has the tag on here, Super Mario Bros 1988. It says officially licensed by Nintendo America and the, uh, the company is Acme. Not like the company that's in Looney Tunes. Different company. <laughs> but yeah, still has it on here, officially licensed and all that. I tried to keep it on there, it's a little bit bent up, but he certainly interesting looking like his proportions are like a little bit off and he's almost kind of creepy but yeah he's very like hard stuff so he's not super soft or plushy but definitely a lot of detail gone into it he's got his overalls there with the iconic buttons the yellow buttons there not much going on the backside sorry mario but I usually have him up to my right here behind my games, kind of creeping out and paring out. But, you know, he'll look great on the couch as like a pillow with other gaming pillows or just hanging out, having them in videos. Certainly cool, certainly unique. And I've only seen um, smaller ones at game conventions, not this size before. So this is the only one I ever seen of all the game conventions I went out to. And guys, well, if you know me and you guys are subscribed to my channel, then it might be pretty clear what my number one is, but it's certainly not in my game room because it won't fit, so we gotta go outside. All right, we should just grab this camera and let's go. All right, guys, it's a little chilly out. If you don't know, I live on the East Coast over in Connecticut, so it's definitely winter coming. Number one! But my number one obscure gaming collectible is my Super Mario car that I drive. It's a full-size modded out car that looks like a Super Mario car. Now I got this car back in March last year and I built it all the way up from the ground up making the blue shell that's on the top. That's a cargo carrier here so it opens up. It has hinges on it so you can open it and I have my my spare tire in here, some jumper cables. It's fiberglass in the fur on the wings is actually furry. It's a little bit dirty, obviously, because it's outside all the time. And the three-tone paint scheme is actually all chalkboard paint that I painted the car with. I did a full video of painting the car with chalkboard paint, and it's pretty cheap way to paint your car. I got tintable colors and put that on there. And we got a custom graphic made by my friend Tom Ryan. 
got Mario and Luigi in 85, 85 for when Nintendo came out and I thought that was a significant year so we made it kind of like a slot car with the big 85 and Luigi's got the big monkey wrench so if he's going to be working on cars he'll be using that. Pretty cool and then, then some checkerboard race flags that go up the car and then on the side I have um, my tags here at Russ Lyman and Scion M car is the hashtag so when I do posts on Instagram or Twitter of the car that's the hashtag that I use and I have some graphics on the top I have 98 coins I'm at world 63 and there's my score so when I'm in the driver you'll see Mario right on the top there and of course we got the custom license plate M cart for Mario Kart Back of the car has a little bit of promotion down here, so it has check me out on my Facebook page and YouTube and everything, and my little 8-bit avatar, as well as here, in case people see the car and they want to take pictures, and this cool little sign with blue shell on board. I'm the only one that can actually have that on and it be true. But let's check out the trunk. So this is my speaker box. It's a warp pipe speaker sub powered by my Thwomp amp painted him to look like a thwomp and of course Mario's got to have a plunger and his monkey wrench there did it like the bricks in Mario just clean and simple the headliner is all checkerboard to go with that race car theme and the fabric I have on the top here is Donkey Kong I just got this at Joanne's fabric and it's a neat little piece to have on the hatch right there all right opening up the back you can see inside here I made these little VIP tables, they're called. So you can put a little drink in here, hold your NES cartridge or switch or something like that. There's a full build video of these on my channel. They're more for show and just look pretty neat and they kind of look like the Mario bricks there. And moving into the driver's side right here, I have a full custom interior with the seat covers. It really adds to the interior overall look. And you can see my shifter is a ba bomb And I added the Donkey Kong fabric as well for the shifter boot. Again, I have another little table that I put right here and you can hold your, your Game Boy or you put your cell phone in here and whatever else you want, mainly for show. And it just pops right off in case you want to get to the glove box and just drops back in. We're ready to go. And one neat feature is my sun visors. They have the NES remotes on them, so when you put them down, you can uh, see it through the inside of the car. And I do have a sunroof with the fabric here, but when I have the shell on, you can't see anything. So that's the only thing that stinks with it. So I just keep it shut for now. So yeah guys, it's certainly fun to drive around in this car and see all the reactions. I do take it out to shows, car shows and gaming conventions and we show it off and people love taking pictures and seeing it. And it's just great that people enjoy it in the gaming community. It is my daily driver and my only car that I do drive. So anywhere I go, people <laughs> take pictures and are wowed by it. So hopefully you guys enjoy seeing the car. If you guys are interested in how I built it, again, I have a full playlist That'll be available in the link in the description of me purchasing this car and getting it to where it is now. But it's kind of cold, so let's let's get back into the studio. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed seeing my obscure gaming collectibles. If you guys want to see more pictures of the Scion M car, be sure to follow me on social media. I post pictures on there regularly. And again, there'll be links to awesome videos of the car or just head over to my YouTube channel. And if you guys have any suggestions of future episodes, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and it just may end up on the next Top 3 Tuesday. And as always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. Thank you.